Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by The Lucid Simmer. A link to The Lucid Simmer's channel and the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So we're following Adora, and she is decided to be a guitarist. So she's going to play guitar, and she wants to be a world-famous celebrity. But for right now, it's almost noon, and she just got up. So what we're going to do today is take care of her needs. She needs to eat something and then have a shower. And then we're going to pick a random world to go to and a random lot. And maybe she'll do some bartending and attend a party. All right, first we'll roll for the world that we're going to visit. And May wants to play in public somewhere. So we're going to go to Windenburg. Okay, and now we're going to roll for the lot that we visit. I have all of the non-residential lots or, or public lots listed here. We're going to go to the Bluffs. Okay, hopefully we can throw some kind of event here because I don't think people really show up at the Bluffs too often. Okay, and the only two types of events you can have is a birthday party or a dance party. Okay, good, we're having a dance party because a birthday party would mean I would have to pick a birthday sim and I would have to find someone else who was going to have a birthday party there. Oh, there is a bar and a DJ set up here. Okay, I was kind of worried about that. I did have a dance party here. So they did put some things over here. And we also have pea bushes. So we can actually have a decent event. Maybe people will listen to us play the guitar. Although I kind of suspect they will be more into the DJ. And Isaiah decided to show up. I don't know why he's here, because I did not invite him. Maybe it's just because ghosts randomly show up at this location? Okay, unfortunately, Alvaro is a young adult. I can't really tell who's a teenager when I'm inviting people to come. Oh, there's a teen, and he tipped me. Okay, let's see if we have any connection with that person. Okay, what is your name? Aubrey Holding. Okay, if we get a crush on this person or we feel attracted to this person in any way. Oh, why is Isaiah butting in on my conversation? That's not a good thing. Okay, well, I don't think we got any sentiments with this person and we're actually not compatible. So he's not an option right now. Oh, and Latasha's here, too. I think that nightclubs traditionally in The Sims 4 have ghosts show up to nightclubs for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like every time I go to a nightclub, they show up. So I guess a dance party is considered a nightclub event. Oh, Abigail is a teen. Let's see if we have any interest in Abigail. <laughs> She's very sad for some reason. Maybe we can cheer her up. We don't have an option to cheer her up, though. Okay, we don't have any sort of compatibility with Abigail, and I didn't see that she has a crush on us or we have a crush on her. So I guess we'll keep trying. Okay, I just got a lot of tips, but they were all from adults. So I can't check and see if I have any compatibility with the adults. And I really don't think that it would be good to get someone who is that much older anyway. So we're just waiting for teenagers. I wonder if we can get this guy to get off the bar and tend the bar. Probably not. No. Okay, well, we do have our own bar with us. I bought a portable bar from Build By, and you can place it in the world, and hopefully we can tend it before someone else gets to it. Oh, it's backwards. Why is it backwards? I don't know if anybody can get to it. Oh, why? Don't turn around. Okay, good. Ah, oh, well, that's still a little bit better. I don't like it when it looks like no one can get to it because it's right in front of the grass, but... She turned around, even though I made her face the other way. 
Another thing that we have to do is get the mixology skill up to level 10. So I thought that I would get this portable bar and then whatever location we go to, we will always have a bar that we can tend. I don't know if people will come up to us, though, and order drinks. Oh, it looks like they are. Good. Oh, awesome. People are ordering drinks from us. So this will be another source of income. And it also gets our mixology skill up, I think. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, good. I was about to say, I hope I'm not wasting my time here with this portable bar. You can also earn money this way because people will pay you for the drinks. At least I think so. Aren't you going to pay me? I'm pouring a bunch of drinks here, but it's not costing me money. So it is getting my skill up. They must be ordering something for free. Oh, well, I'm not getting paid. That's fine. Let's go back to playing the guitar. <laughs> Allison Denson tipped me. She's a teen, but she has the last name Denson. I don't think that she would be an appropriate person to try and flirt with because I'm pretty sure she's a relative. There was one more teen here, but I kind of lost track of him. Oh, look, here's Vlad. <laughs> Vlad is a B-lister. That's another thing I have to watch out for. I can't be involved with someone who's famous. Oh, Augustus Vator? Um, he might be a vampire, though. Um, you look just like Vlad. Well, I will introduce myself anyway. I think he's a vampire. I think he has to be a vampire because his dad is obviously Vlad. And his mom is probably Lilith, which means two vampires. Oh, he's flirty. <laughs> that is probably a bad sign. Yeah, he's a fledgling vampire. I knew it. Well, we do not have any compatibility, but he seems to be flirting with us. Okay, we don't have a crush on him. Let's stop talking to him before we do get a crush on him. Oh, and she has a thumbs down, so maybe she doesn't like him. We'll go say hi to Allison, even though she's our relative. I think she might be our cousin. We definitely can't have a romantic relationship, but we can say hi. That is, if we can get through the crowd. And she's very sad because both Isaiah and Lat Latasha. Okay, so both Isaiah and Latasha passed away, and they were the founders for this legacy. So they are the grandparents. And yes, she is our cousin. At least since there's another bartender here, I can grab some chips to eat. She also needs to get the junk food fiend lifestyle, and that might be kind of difficult if there are no sweets available. I wonder if this counts as a meal, because she does have the unbalanced meals uncomfortable buff. No, that did not count as a meal. Okay, so that might be a quick meal. Oh, and now it's starting to rain. Okay, well, it's 3 a.m. I think it's time to go home. Okay, since Trevor needs to mentor someone for three hours for his aspiration, he's going to mentor Adora. Really? It hasn't even been one hour yet? Okay, you are. Okay, now it's been an hour. Well, I guess Adora is going to stay up all night learning how to play her guitar. Okay, Adora is finally up and out of bed, but we have to watch her acne. So she started puberty and she needs to wash her face every day and apply a facial cleanser otherwise she'll end up with acne and unfortunately in this game if you don't clear it up as a teenager it, it continues on into adulthood and there's nothing you can do about it it's not a bug it's a feature okay and it is fall tricks so we're having to play video games and do all the things that involves things for halloween and why are you not playing? Oh, okay. I guess it was Mayhem. Mayhem got something. I don't know why. It focused the camera on her. Okay, she's playing video games because she likes doing that. But I think I want you to answer Sims chat because that gets you money too. All right. So we've solved the holiday for May. 
and also for Trevor. I think we're going to take a trip to the cemetery before Adora goes out for the day. And this is the small little cemetery lot I put down in Newcrest. Um, I forget who made it, but uh, it's on my gallery ID under my favorites. So if you are interested in that, then it will be there. I will also put the gallery ID in the description later during editing. So I put Isaiah's and Latasha's urn in here, and I plan on putting the family urns on this lot. I don't know if we'll get all of the extended family because Isaiah and Latasha had a lot of kids. And even some of their kids got married and had kids. So I might lose track of that family tree, but I will try as much as possible to get most of them in here. Now, hopefully these urns are in a place that we can actually mourn them. I don't want it to be unreachable. That looks like it's fine. Uh -huh. Branca. And that actually completes the holiday for Adora. Okay, time to pick a world for where we're going today. And what I do is I download some lots off of the gallery and fill up all of the blank lots. And looks like we're going to Henford on Bagley, which is actually home. And this world is actually filled with lots already because I put a bunch of places for the Bensons to work. And it looks like we're going to the restaurant. So we'll visit Benson's restaurant and have some sort of event. And the only choice we have is a birthday party or a family reunion. And it looks like family reunion. All right, so that means we'll probably not find a date at this party. Okay, the Densons are a big family. I tried to invite everyone, but I'm sure that I missed some people because I had to scroll through every sim in the game. Okay, hopefully this works. I have Carl's Dine Out Reloaded installed, so hopefully this isn't too glitchy. And we also have this happening on Hennef Henford on Bagley, which is actually a good thing because Adora's family lives here and her family actually owns this restaurant. So it makes a lot of sense to have a family reunion here. Okay, and she gives me the absolute biggest table available. And I think I'm only one person because even though I'm having an event here, I'm not in a group. Oh, no. Okay, so we got the four-person table even though she pointed at this one. Okay, it appears ordering is broken. Oh, well, we'll just play the guitar. That's what we're here for anyway. I don't know if anyone will come and tip us because restaurants are sometimes kind of glitchy. I wonder if the menu is still set at this restaurant. That might be a problem. Well, I actually did get a couple of tips. I guess what this... Oh, what is somebody fighting over here for? I have no idea why they're fighting. I repealed all of the neighborhood action plans. So that is kind of weird. It's two family members? Yeah, it looks like two family members. Alice and Allison were fighting, and they're two teenagers. It's not fight day. Why are you guys fighting? As I was trying to say earlier, it is kind of realistic that no one is listening to her play because she's not supposed to get a lot of attention from people tipping her. Let's see, if I tend bar, can I get a coffee for Mayhem? No, of course, there is no coffee on here. That figures. I might have some upstairs. Yes, I do have some upstairs. I'm going to brew my own coffee since this restaurant is non-functional. I don't think anyone else will order drinks from me, though. Uh, it looks like the restaurant is functional for some people. Maybe it's just not functional for me because I'm hosting a party here. And there's too many people to be in my group for the party. Oh no, that looks like they glitched out too. 
while I appreciate Carl's mod, and sometimes in the past I have had it be functional, it seems like here lately I have not been able to get restaurants to work. It might be because I have too many other mods that are interfering with it. Okay, I figured that maybe it was the party that I had going on or the fact that I wasn't in a group when I first came to the restaurant. So this time I just traveled to the restaurant with my family in my group and I was able to order from the table just fine. It could have also been that for some reason, by default, I have host walk guests to table off when I first load a restaurant and that's supposed to be defaulted to on and I have to manually turn it on and then hope that the people haven't arrived and requested a table already because once they do that they get stuck they cannot sit at a table and they can't be led to the table so I have to basically reload the lot at that point well, it is about 4 a.m. Maybe we'll finally get some dinner. We did not finish the family reunion. I mean, we got bronze, but that's fine. We don't have to actually complete these events or succeed at these events. It's just the parties that May is going May. I keep calling her May. It's not May. It's Adora. So the parties that Adora is going to as a teenager need to basically vary day by day. And the location varies day by day because she's trying to build her fame as a guitar player, but she's just not getting any fame for being a musician. Okay. And we got one empty plate. Are you going to charge me for that? Well, I guess this mod isn't actually fixing everything like it should. So now that Henford on Bagley was a complete bust, where are we going next? Oh, we're we going to take a vacation to Selva Dorada. And we'll have to figure out which lot we're going to. Okay, we actually have a few parties we can throw at a vacation rental that are not able to be thrown anywhere else. So we're going to have a dinner party. That's different. Okay, I bought this busking stand so that Adora could use it. And it looks like everyone that shows up to the party just tips her for no reason. Well, Adora's having fun, but I don't think anyone was listening to her music very much. They walked in, tipped her, and then started eating. I don't know why the hosts keep cooking. I mean, I have a caterer. You guys are not supposed to be cooking, but they're autonomously doing it. Okay, so Trevor finished his aspiration, and now he's a musical genius. So Adora doesn't need to practice anymore. I think I'm just going to go to the local bar now. We had our dinner party and why do you have two guitars? How did that happen? Well, that was interesting. Okay, everybody here is a young adult, but it's a bar. So I kind of expect that. Okay, I did start a teen group for her so that she could at least get some teens to visit. To be honest, this isn't that realistic, and it's actually not what I want. She's supposed to be mostly ignored for her music, but the way The Sims work is that even if you're the worst guitar player, you still have everybody coming up to you and giving you tips. But the thing is, she's just playing her music and earning tips like a busker would on the side of the street. She's not famous playing in front of an entire crowd. Oh good, we have the junk food fiend in progress. Um, we're also going to be indoorsy because we're playing the guitar. Unfortunately, there are certain skills that if you always use them, you will be indoorsy. And same with outdoorsy. I think we're done with the guitar for tonight, so we'll tend some bar and earn a little bit of money that way. But I think we actually earn money more often by playing the guitar. Sometimes it seems like tending the bar is bugged. I don't get paid for the drinks that I make. Okay, this is for Wednesday's World. Where are we visiting today? Oh, Del Sol Valley. 
that has a lot of celebrity hot spots, so maybe Adora is ready to get serious. Okay, here are the different lots that we have in Del Sol Valley, and which one are we going to visit? It looks like Plumbob Pictures, the museum. So there are a lot of different events that we can have at a museum. For some reason, you can have a slumber party at a museum. But it looks like we're going to have a birthday party. Okay, I'm going to have to decide who is having a birthday at a museum and inviting Adora. So I actually had to add Alice Denson to our house in order to have a birthday party for her. But Alice is actually one day away from aging up anyway, from a teenager to a young adult. So it makes sense that she would invite all her family to a birthday party. And May is just going to tend bar at first. And Adora is just going to tend bar. Maybe we'll have May make a cake. Izzy, why are you over here? He's not even invited to the party. He just decided to come over here and make a drink. And happy birthday, Alice. Okay, Alice is going to be non-committal, a recycled disciple, and childish. I'm not sure what aspiration we can pick for her. Maybe we'll go with Eco Innovator. Okay, that's all we needed to do to get gold. Not that it really mattered, but that sets the scene for the party. And nobody's really ordering any drinks. So maybe we'll set up the guitar busking station and see if that works during a party. So I just replaced the inside garden area or grass area with a kitchen. And I think that works pretty well for this museum. It really doesn't have anything here. And for some reason, the walls, when you put them up with cutaway view, they only show the doors no matter which direction you're facing so that's kind of annoying well some people like this little kid are watching adora play but i haven't seen anybody tip yet especially none of the party goers okay we did get a tip from briley monib i'm sorry i don't know how to say that but she is a guest and she tipped us. So I guess you can throw a party and have people tip you. And it looks like we already know her from somewhere. Probably our costume party. Because I think that we have met her before. Let's see if they are compatible. They are friends. Oh, Adora does have a crush on Briley. Okay, so we do have our first candidate for Adora's partner. She's lactose intolerant. Now, we're not going to go with the first person that we meet, but the only people that we can pick from when Adora gets to be young adult are people that we either had a crush on or have good compatibility with that we met while we were playing the guitar. They have to have tipped us. So basically, they like our guitar playing, and we met them because we were playing the guitar. And that's the only way that we can consider someone as a candidate for her partner. So let's try a little flirt with Briley and see if she likes girls or not, because we don't know that yet. If she doesn't like girls, then unfortunately, we cannot consider her in the running. Okay, I didn't see it. Did you flirt? I think she did, and I think she was okay with it. There's too many people here. I might have to turn down how many sims I allow on a lot. Okay, that's as far as we will take it with Briley. So we have at least one romantic interest and I will keep it like that because eventually she probably will ask us out on a date and then we can just date multiple people until we figure out who is going to be the one. Okay, we're going to cancel the birthday party, but we'll stay here and play guitar for a little bit and see if other people show up. It's just that the birthday party has a lot of family in it and not very many teenagers. So 
I'm sending everyone home, and then we'll see who else shows up. Oh, Richard is a fan, and he's a teen, but he's not my fan, because I'm not famous. We should introduce ourselves. Why are you scowling, Richard? I don't know why it looks like he has a scowl on his face. It's a pleasant conversation, and he's in a fine mood. Oh, he's a music lover. Oh, and now she has a crush on Richard. This is the problem with The Sims. I think what happens is if they're a teenager and they talk to someone more than once or twice, they, they develop a crush on them. And that's just kind of weird. Okay, he's a music lover and a slob. Not the best thing, but I guess that's okay. Okay, we have a little bit of romance with Richard McNeilson. Or Michelson, sorry. Richard Michelson. Oh, Richard wants to go to the prom with Adora? As friends? Really? Okay, I guess we'll go as friends. I wish we could go as dates. Well, I guess he thought that we were good friends and not really into each other, even though Adora does have a crush on him. All right, where are we going today? Today's Thursday. And we're going to, looks like maybe Horsetown? Chestnut Ridge. Okay, so maybe a bar, maybe a park, we'll see. Okay, there are only four lots in Chestnut Ridge that are possible destinations. And it looks like we're going to the park. I believe Duke's Hall is a park. Apparently there are a lot of parties you can throw at a park. So we're going to have a slumber party. This should be interesting. Okay, so I just noticed that Adora has a want to ask Richard to be her boyfriend. Well, maybe we'll ask him to prom legitimately because you can change from friends to ask to prom and see what he says. Yeah, Richard, I changed my mind. I don't want to go to prom with you as friends. Um, okay, sure, we'll go as a date. All right, that worked out well. Okay, I had to add some things to the park here, but we're going to play some cards with the guys. I wonder if we can chat while we're doing this. Okay, I don't think we have a TV. We might have to add one, maybe at the bar. We also need to dance to music. I don't see any stereo or radio anywhere. This would be a nice place for it down here in this room. Okay, hopefully that's all I have to add now. I don't like editing the community lots too much or doing all the setup for every single event that Adora needs to go to. But it's nice to have all the things that you need. Okay, maybe we should make something for everyone to eat. Are we even hungry? Not really. Okay, will it count if we're all eating cupcakes at the same time? Oh, right. It usually doesn't count unless you're at a dinner table. Well, I don't think we can meet that requirement then. Okay, why did everyone set their sleeping bags all in the same place? There is more room over here. Oh, Alexander Goth is all the way up here. That's so sad. He's the only one that's up here. Everyone else is downstairs in this room. Okay, how can you do a sleeping bag prank? I'm not sure. Maybe she doesn't have enough mischief skill. Oh, they have to be sleeping in a sleeping bag. So I can't prank the sleeping bag itself. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of a slumber party that I went to once where it wasn't common for people to prank someone who was sleeping. We would prank the sleeping bag before the person got in it. We were actually sleeping on air mattresses. And one of the things that someone did to someone else, I won't name who did who to what, uh, someone actually unplugged the air nozzle it was one of those air nozzles that you had to pinch 
in order for the air to come out or you had to sit on it for the air to come out. So the air was a very, very slow leak and you couldn't even hear it leaking. And basically after an hour or two after the person had fallen asleep, it became completely flat. And yes, being the childish people that we were during that slumber party, unbeknownst to the person who was getting pranked, everyone kept going do 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 flat by morning and the person could not figure out what they were referencing until they woke up in the middle of the night with the entire bed flat. Okay, let's see if we can get everyone eating if it's mac and cheese because for some reason the cupcakes didn't count and I'm not sure if that was, yeah, that's what it was. Cupcakes did not count. Mac and cheese counts. Did I only make four? Okay, my bad. Um, Ezra did not get any. I think it's because she autonomously made that mac and cheese. I did not choose four servings. Oh, people have already gone to sleep and I didn't tell everyone to go to sleep yet. We can prank someone. Um, so we want to prank with baby powder, water, balloon. Um, I guess with water, I, I have no idea what those options mean. Am I just going to pour water on him while he's sleeping? That's kind of mean and kind of silly. Oh, she has to go all the way around because there's no room to go through the sleeping bags the other way. Well, when you go to a slumber party, never be the first person to fall asleep. Okay, she takes a watering can and just pours it on him. That's kind of rude and not really that imaginative. Okay, now I said it's time for bed. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at him still. <laughs> I wonder if anybody would have the nerve to prank you. Probably not. I don't think that that's an autonomous interaction. I think it would only happen if a player actually did it. I said it was time for bed and these two are not sleeping. I guess Richard did not bring a sleeping bag. I don't see one for him. Well, I made pancakes for everyone. Adora is actually up early this morning. I mean, she got enough sleep, so I really didn't want to keep her in bed any longer. Okay, this is the last time we're going to roll for a location because tomorrow is Saturday and we're going to prom. San Machino. Well, that means we stay in town. Okay, which lot are we going to have an event at? We could even have it at home. Well, looks like we are having it at home. So we have a stage set up upstairs and we can have a house party or something like that. But there's actually a lot of events you can have at your own place. Well, I was about to pick an event and now... I'm being asked out by Richard. So this is not a date. This is just hanging out with club friends, I'm pretty sure. But he wants to go to a nightclub at 3.45 p.m. Well, sure, we'll do that. And then we'll have the after party at Adora's house. And we'll have our first kiss with Richard because we want to ask him to be our boyfriend eventually. Now, that doesn't mean that we'll end up with Richard, but he, it means he's a candidate. And Richard is still tired from the sleepover. Well, that's kind of annoying for him. He didn't sleep at the sleepover. Okay, now Adora is indoorsy. Well, hopefully she gets the junk food fiend one too. Imagine someone comes to a nightclub and just sets up a random bar out in the middle of the dance floor and says, Hey, I've got some drinks. And I think one of the bartenders got trapped under the stairs. Interesting. Sorry about that, Corbin Rosa. There, I saved him. You can have just about every kind of event at your own house. So it looks like we're going to do a ranch gathering, which by the way, we still do have goats and sheep and horses and llamas and cows and chickens.
and all the pets we had from the previous episodes when Adora was a child. So this is a good thing to do. I did kind of forget that May and Trevor were, were still at work. So we're just doing this by ourselves. Did I start a kava party? Um, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, I did start a kava party. Whoops. Everyone go home so I can restart the party. Okay, it says have guests drink nectar. But I'm not sure that I can make them drink it. I can pour the drinks. And I wonder if it counts if I drink the nectar. Probably not. Oh, are you coming up here to get some nectar? You are. Okay, so they actually will drink it on their own. I wonder if you can get someone to drink more than three glasses. If you drink too much nectar, you pass out and all of your energy is gone. So Adora is just playing some guitar out by the fire pit. And oh, sorry, Ezra, you have to go to the bathroom. You're excused. You don't have to sit there and be uncomfortable. Okay, let's try our group cowpoke dance and see how that goes. Okay, well, it kind of interrupted me because I was ending the party. I don't know if they're going to do it now. It looks like no. Oh, no, there they go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the cowpoke dance is actually kind of funny. It's a little bit strange because the music is off. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll replace the music with something post-edit. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I think that Adora needs to go to sleep now. I've taken care of all of Adora's needs and we're just waiting for prom to start. We can go to the before party at 5 p.m. or somewhere about that time. Maybe it's 3. I don't remember exactly when it starts. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. It's not at my house. Well, this is kind of an awesome apartment to have it in. It's huge. I don't usually play in these apartments, so I'm not too familiar with this one. Let's see what is Adora's favorite drink. A zebra fizz. Okay. Well, today is fight day. So we're going to do the honors of getting into brawls. Yeah, okay. I don't understand this holiday, but it, it is what it is. It's a Sims thing. It's silly. You basically start random fights. Well, Adora keeps winning. Great. Now Adora is enraged for some reason. It's just a teenage mood swing, but I don't want her to be upset for prom. Well, prom didn't happen. I don't know why, but every once in a while in my game, the lot gets bugged and I have to rebuild it for some reason. So I didn't get prom to happen, but we can invite over our club members and maybe have a few drinks. I don't know. Okay, Case, but out of our conversation, please. Great, it's an awkward encounter because case is over here maybe if i stop talking to him he will drop out of the conversation i don't know there we go that's better i guess our romance is not high enough for me to ask him to be my boyfriend so i'm not sure why she has that want okay now i can ask him to be my boyfriend Okay, let's try this. We'll go out with Richard for a while. Now, it doesn't mean that Richard is endgame because when you're a teenager, you date people. So we'll see how it goes. 
and now she really has to go to the toilet. Well, Richard, are you going to be our boyfriend? Sure. Okay, so they skipped prom together because they showed up and basically no one was here. And now they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.